right, so we're going to hop right into the ingredients. You're going to need some parsley, some heavy whipping cream. For today's seasonings, I'm using two of those Flavor Gods. So I'm using the Italian Zest and also the Cajun Lovers. Um, of course, I'm using Slap Your Mama. Gotta have it, gotta have it. Um, in addition, we're using a little cayenne pepper, uh, a little Italian seasoning. And if heat is not your thing, feel free to omit the cayenne pepper. You're going to need some garlic, minced garlic, some butter. I'm using two types of bell pepper today, red bell pepper and green bell pepper and onion. And then for our two meats, I have some um, chicken breast fillets here that I'm going to make a little thinner. And I'm also using the Johnsonville's New Orleans Andouille Sausage. And I know y'all just saw Legend make a feature there behind me. <laughs> it's okay. And then for our pasta today, we're going to be using linguine. And you can use whatever pasta you want. If you want to use uh, spaghetti, angel hair, um, you can use whatever you would like. So now let's get into the preparation. I almost forgot, you are going to need Parmesan cheese. We are making our own um, cream sauce. So the cheese and the heavy cream are going to help us with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare these chicken breasts. They were not as thin as I wanted them. So I'm just taking um, my knife and slicing down the middle. And that is going to uh, make them a lot thinner for me. So now you see that I have four chicken breasts. We're going to start our seasoning process. I'm going to start with some Slap Your Mama first. And I'm just going to generously season. And I'm only going to show you me seasoning one side, but just know that I do the same thing to both sides. Now we're going to go in with the Flavor Guide, um, the Flavor Guide Cajun Lover Seasoning. And the thing I like about the Flavor Guide is that they don't have a lot of salt content, but they do pack a lot of flavor. Um, this video is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. So, yeah. Um, and then we're going to follow up with the Italian Zest. Um, and this is similar to like an Italian um, herb seasoning that you've seen me use before. But it has a few other different spices in there, and I kind of like it. Um, I, I'm, I'm still using it, so I kind of like it. And then now I am following up with some regular Italian seasonings. And then, you know, I like a little bit of heat, so I am also using a little cayenne pepper. If you need to make this kid friendly, feel free to omit the cayenne pepper. Now we're just going to flip them and do the same thing to the other side. Now let's do some prep work on our veggies. I've already um, chopped up the green bell pepper and I did it the same way you see me doing the red bell pepper here. I just slice it in the strips. And then I'm cutting it into these little bitty dices. Um, you want to try to make your dices as uniform as possible for this. Um, it just helps with the overall cooking process of them and also the presentation. So after we get done with the bell pepper, we are going to move on to cutting up our onion. And I cut up the onion the exact same way. So next, we're going to start the prep work on our sausage, and I just um, cut it in little diagonal medallions, nothing super special, uh, and I'm just going to take each piece and do this, and then, since all of our vegetables and meats are prepped, we can now get started on the cooking process. Now we're going to add four tablespoons of butter to the pan and let that melt. Once that butter is melted and warm, we are going to add our chicken to the pan. And here I'm just going to sear it on both sides. And I am going to cook this chicken all the way through because it will not go back into the pasta. It will be put on top of the pasta. So at this point, you do want to go ahead and make sure 
that the chicken is cooked all the way through. Now that the chicken is ready, we're going to remove it from the pan. And then we're going to use that oil to cook the sausage and also the uh, bell peppers and onions. So I'm just going to saute all of that together. This took maybe around um, 10 minutes or so because I like my vegetables kind of soft. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Now that our vegetables are ready, we are going to get ready to add in our minced garlic. And the reason why you add the minced garlic at the end is because if you add it with everything else, the longer garlic cooks, the more bitter it gets, and you don't want bitter garlic. So we're just going to add it in um, at this step, and then we're going to saute it for about, um, about a minute or so. And then once that garlic is ready, we are going to go ahead and add in our heavy cream. Once that cream has heated up, we are going to now add in our Parmesan cheese. Now, even though this shredded, pre-shredded cheese works, I will tell you that it's better if you shred up your own cheese to, on this particular night. I was just taking a shortcut, so I use the bag cheese, but if you shred up your own cheese, it makes the melting process a little bit easier. And during this process, you definitely want to keep the heat low, because if you increase the heat, uh, you'll end up with a mess. <laughs> so you want to do this very, very slow um, and low. So now our Parmesan cheese has melted in nicely and has created a nice cream sauce. We are going to start flavoring up our sauce and I am going to add in some Slap Your Mama here. I'm also going to add in some of that Italian zest flavor guide seasoning. Basically everything that I added to the meat initially, I am now adding to this sauce to give it a nice tasty flavor and here I cut up some of the chicken into like little bitty pieces um, and I'm adding that to the sauce and then we're gonna lay some chicken on top as well but I just like to add you know I like the chicken and the sausage to be in my um, pasta as well and then I forgot to mention earlier that I did remove some of the vegetables and the sausage and that's what I am laying on top of the pasta at the end. And here I'm taking my linguine and I'm going to add it to the pot so that I can coat it in, I can coat it in the sauce. Um, I like for my pasta to kind of uh, marinate in the sauce for a little while and so that it gets infused with the flavors that I built into the sauce. Okay, y'all, so you're going to have to forgive this. I'm shooting this on my phone. My camera actually died in the recording of this video. For the end, once I um, added that pasta to the cream sauce and some of that sausage, chicken, and vegetables, I stirred it up. I let it simmer for about five minutes. And now I'm just finishing it off because, you know, presentation is important. Um, so what I did was I took two of those chicken breasts, I sliced them on top, and now I'm adding in some of the leftover bell peppers, onions, and sausage. And then we are going to top that bad boy with a little bit of parsley, and then your final product is this. As always, thank y'all so, so much for tuning in. If you like today's dish... Don't forget to smash that like button. Drop down in the comment section. Let me know if this something is if this is something you're going to try. I know everybody's probably tired of those Thanksgiving leftovers, and this is the perfect quick pasta dish to get your weekend started. So, um, as always, as always, thank y'all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, neighbors.